the oven set up for the chimneys or on there's two pieces to the chimney and I'm just setting up the first light so that's a little bowl of pellets in there not fully topped up just to get the flames going I burnt it through that mesh air vent and then once that's caught properly then I will add some more pellets I'm going to put the door on so that the flames pull this way so now that's caught a bit I am going to add some more pellets I've just added a small amount of pellets because I don't want to completely wipe out the flame let that catch And since that one's caught, I've added another two of those shovelfuls. They weren't full shovelfuls, but it's got two about there. And I've still got steam coming out. So when you see smoke billowing out the top like that, it means that the fire hasn't caught and it's still smouldering. So you need to get that to turn into a flame. That needs to just boom into a flame. As soon as that clicks into a flame, you're good to go. get that we need that to turn into a flame so <laughs> done a waft of air boom that has now disappeared and I have heat and flame although it's still steaming out the back that's because I got the door open. As soon as I shut the door and let this go, that stops at the back. Having the door on pulls the heat forward up the chimney, up there. But if you take the door off, it sucks out the back. And so you have lots of smoke coming out the back if you keep the door off. And so, I'm ready to top. This is from my old uni bag. Topped my hopper topper, whatever it's called. Hopper topper, topper hopper. Right to the top. Give it a little tap. Every now and then to make sure that the uh, pellets go down. Heat, that's pure heat. Flames. And today there's no wind at all, which is absolutely lovely. But when you're lighting a fire, a little bit of a draft does help. So it's been five minutes, so I just want to check the temperature on the stone. Wow, 
Wow, <laughs> I didn't expect it to get to 430 Celsius in that short period of time. That's pretty fast, actually. I'm not ready. I haven't made the pizza. So what I'll do is I'll go and quickly get to make the pizza. I've been caught out here by the speed of that heat up. Let me check the top up situation first before I start making my pizza. See, my pellets aren't even gone down. Give it a tap. Fiery in there. I'm just going to check the temperature on the center of the stone. Now this stone went up super hot. So I took the door off for a bit and it's cooled down now. It's back down quite a lot, but that stone is deeply full of heat. I'll show you the, the Celsius at the back. It's 474. It's time to get the pizza in. Right, let's get this in. After my one cook it is 553 in the center so it's really retaining the heat so it's 512 after my cook i gotta make a pizza now so i'm just gonna leave that there and then top up just before my pizza is ready one thing i've noticed this is actually upright but it's really the mechanism is really like weak and not it doesn't stay in the right place it's very flexible and flimsy so it's not staying in the right place but it is actually upright so you'll need to make sure that's upright when you're cooking otherwise you're you won't have enough air going in your chimney i think the unifier 12 is a very straightforward pizza oven to use with the wood pellets as long as you just make sure that it's topped up when you want the heat and just give a little bit of a waft of air if it's a very non-breezy day like today just get that wafting in just to keep get the uh, air going in the back so that it catches yeah it's a pretty intense heat in there so i hope you found this video useful on how i light my unifira 12. thanks for watching take care and i'll see you soon bye